This is Kevin Oliver in Sacramento. KCRA 3 Investigates has learned much of the money California is receiving from the federal government for elections has been allocated to programs making it easier to vote rather than election security. Of the $34.5 million allocated, just $11 million is set aside for cybersecurity efforts. Voter registration databases are actually an ideal target. But cybersecurity expert Matt Bishop says those voter databases must be just as secure as the actual voting process. And the voter registration databases where enough information is concentrated that I could launch a wholesale attack. Bishop says most companies with sensitive information conduct what's called red team tests. They try to break into their own system and look for vulnerabilities. The government should be doing that to protect uh, our databases. To put it mildly, yes. <laughs> <laughs> because um, those databases are extremely complex and the more complex something is, typically the more security problems that will arise. The state has also allocated roughly $134 million to establish an Office of Election Cybersecurity and for counties to replace aging voting systems. We have to fill the gap left by Washington here. I mean, that's, that's the sad truth. State Senator Henry Stern heads the Senate Elections Committee. He says just this week the state enacted some of the country's toughest laws to crack down on Internet voting crimes. For instance, it's now a crime in California to deliberately spread misinformation on social media sites about when and where you can vote. If that occurred again like it had, we could subpoena um, the records of whomever that Twitter or Facebook user was putting out that misinformation, try to get back to the source. And if we were successful in tracking down a corporation uh, or an individual, we could extradite them and bring them to justice here in the state of California.